Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your 15th HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be covering more information about that flexible box model the future of web design so let's go ahead and under our body tag we need to add another div and remember this main div that surrounded our entire website was called big wrapper so just go ahead and copy that and know that isn't a wrap group let's go ahead and copy that and add some properties to this beast now before we even begin I want to show you guys our website right here if you run and launch this in Google Chrome we can see that okay didn't want to launch that run and launch this beast in Google Chrome we can see that basically our website is centered right now so let's go ahead and style a bunch of this and again the reason it is centered because of the last tutorial we centered the contents inside everything so now I can finally get go on to this big wrapper now the first property we want to set is max width now again like I said we are going to be designing a website that changes in width depending on how big your browser is so if you have a small browser like a cell phone it's going to be a skinny website if you have a big browser like a widescreen computer then it's going to be a wide website however we want a maximum width we don't want this website to be three thousand pixels wide so we're gonna set a max width of let's say 1000 pixels and this will just give us some form of consistency some standard we can go by so now let me just spice things up by making things look a little better 20 pixels 0 pixels and if I'm going too fast just check out my uh, last tutorial you guys are gonna understand what all this means and another thing that we need to do is since this wrapper is wrapping the entire website this is also going to have boxes in it so we need to go ahead and copy this display and turn it into a webkit box what we're doing is basically saying okay this is a box now the webkit part is basically part of google chrome so don't worry about that just concentrate on display box we're gonna say okay this is a box and it can change in size and it also has children in it in other words it also has different elements in it that can also change in size so now that we tell it that we can go ahead and change some properties of it the first is webkit box orient now what this property means is the children inside do you want me to place them left to right or one on top of each other in other words I, w I don't want to say block and inline but for the purposes of this tutorial that may be kind of a uh, you know just think of it like block elements or inline elements so block elements since they're placed one on top of each other we're gonna say vertical if I can spell that right and this means anything inside this box basically anything in our website tree is a block element and don't place it side to side the other property we want to um, changed on our website is webkit box flex now this is basically the meat of this tutorial we want to give this a value of one and this is going to allow our website to be flexible either shrink or grow in size horizontally so the value of one means flexible the value of zero means fixed or not flexible at all so that's why we want to set that as one so after big wrapper what do we got top header so let me go ahead and copy this piece right there and top header now let's go ahead and make this look a little bit pretty so basically what we did right here in big wrapper is change the overall setting for pretty much our entire website so now we can go ahead and start making everything look pretty so background wow definitely messed that up real good background for our top header and this is where our title and logo go is we'll just change that yellow something very apparent in border I actually want to make this pretty thick like three pixels solid black now the reason I'm making it so thick isn't because it's gonna look pretty it's because whenever I show you guys how this website can shrink and grow it's gonna be very clear when I have a real thick border to see it so that's why I'm making it so thick in case you were wondering and for the padding of this I'm just gonna put like 20 pixels I guess why the heck not now again that is where our um, logo and title are gonna go so after that what do we got top menu so for top menu I'm gonna go ahead and paste that right there and move my cursor out of the way um, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna give this a nice thick border and I'll make this one red that should be pretty obvious background I think I made it blue last time 
and for the color of the stuff inside I'll make that white and I think that is all for top menu however we do need if I copy this the list items in top menu because remember our fake navigation bar was made up of a bunch of list items and for that we need a display and we're just gonna set these as inline block now remember whenever you hit the display you're basically telling it how you want the elements to be lined up now inline means position it left and right instead of you know one under each other so that's why since we want our navigation bar all those links to be side by side we want to make those inline elements so next we want the list style none and that basically means no bullets or anything padding five pixels and what else do we want font I can go ahead and just copy I think I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this font because it's a pretty good looking font and I don't feel like typing all that out so basically now that we have the list and basically everything looking pretty let's go ahead and refresh this and see what we got so right now what we have is our main header in our menu taken care of however all of this stuff remember this article this article in this little news section right here we wrapped in something called what do we call it new div and that is going to be pretty much what I'm going to be talking about how we can make these things flexible shrink and grow however it's going to take some time and I'm going to save that for the next tutorial because I have a lot of new information to throw at you guys and I don't want to you know fill your brains with this tutorial so stop this tutorial take a deep breath and once you are ready your mind is totally free move on to the next tutorial where I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of new stuff at you guys so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial